I one time went to an audition when I first moved to L.A. and Will Smith was there. Uh, he smacked you? I, he did not smack me. I was not a famous comedian yet. And he, I walked in the room and it was like his production company or something. And I was like, all ready to audition. Whatever. And I walked in and I saw him and I just went, oh, come on. Like that's, I was. That's a fun energy. That's very just, Charlie. The very Charlie, Charlie girl. Yeah, <laughs> Charlie girl. That's very Charlie girl. <laughs> come on. It's all like, the most famous people are here. But, sucks. but it was just like. To give me a head. I was annoyed that I didn't have a heads up. No, wouldn't you have been worse if you had a heads up? Well, I was, no I just was like, oh, come on. Like, could you tell me? Like, I was just thrown. Right, right, right. Granted, right. I had never been in the same room as like a celebrity. It, you're in this tiny room. And I just was like, and you know, when you see like a very big celebrity in person, they look I'm like. I'm seeing a, one right now, honey. I mean, hey, girl. No, like a Will Smith type. Yes, you know, yes. When you see them in person, sometimes they look like a wax figure of that celebrity. Or they look like a teeny, teeny billy goat of themselves oh because my. you're like, in my mind, you're such a giant. That is the other thing. And also, I do be finding that the women of Hollywood, <laughs> their bones are so little. Feeble. Like, they're, they're skeletons. Feeble. I'm not just saying they're skinny. I'm saying like skeleton shrunk down in a shrinking microwave. Like, honey, I shrunk the lady. No, and then they're, and so small you see wrists. their kneecaps are like just little <laughs> thimbles and they are. They're like these like feeble um, marionette dolls. Yes. And you're just like, like a wind could blow them over. They're just so, and I feel like that's why they're allowed to fit on the TV because they're <laughs> so small. And the men are small too. It's, yeah. like, it's honestly like they save money by not using a widescreen on these people. Or I don't know, that's so, I, or I don't know what, it, but some of them just get so famous and I don't know if it's just like they have different water skin treatments, dabbling in Scientology, so, but like their skin is different. I know, their the, skin is so tight to their little skulls. It's different than you've ever seen. So different. Every So it's like I saw Will Smith and I was just like that, like literally, fuck, it was such a slap in the face, Will, to like, well, and I was so nervous and totally bombed it. You did? Yeah. Was it for to play the basketball in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? That, that was it. That wow. was actually. That's crazy because I always say you have like kind of a little basketball body. <laughs> It's so small, so you could just dunk, dunk, dunk down the a stairs. Little basketball body. <laughs> so you came in. You were uh, I know, always know someone's a star. Uh, like I literally just like looked. I was like, that girl's a star. No, you. Didn't. Oh, I swear to God, ask anyone. I was like, she is a star. Which is like, I love like being like an old like. I'm like. That's she's the next, got it, honey. That's yeah. the next Shirley Temple. <laughs> yes, see, she just walked in and she's just, she's got it. Yes, see. That's so funny you say Shirley Temple because I do remember my I scrapped the pages that you guys have written for the audition. I just went, well, the good ship lollipop. <laughs> and then you started twerking on grown men. Yeah, and I was stuck in my little thumb, <laughs> and everyone was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, just I, I think for me, when I'm casting somebody, I'm like, who's going to make my job really easy? That's so sweet. And then I was like, I will not have to do anything if well, she you does made my job. I mean, that, I think you might have been like one of the first female directors that I even had. I don't see gender, but OK. OK, so. <laughs> so, OK, well, I know you don't see it. So you're not a woman and you're not a man. You're a basketball. Right. So, you know. <laughs> um, so but I remember you made it so fun and easy because. Also on the set, there was a scene where I had to be woken up by the dog. I had like a beef sauce on my face so that the dog would want to lick my okay, face. Okay, so by the way, this up. was a series of short films <laughs> that was for a vet, uh, a company that's a veterinarian company. Vet, a vet. VCA. A VCA, like a string of vets. Yes. Okay, and so they asked me about it and I remember being like, oh, am I going to direct short films? And I was like, there's animals. And like a lot of times when there's animals involved, they're not treated well. So I was like, let me just do but this. But the message of the films was how to properly care for your animals and not exploit them. Totally. So it was a bit ironic. Totally. So exactly. And then there's, all, but I made sure none of that happened. So we were trying to figure out the humane way to shoot with dogs and stuff. And I guess the humane way for dogs is inhumane to humans which I'm fine with. Oh, that's interesting. So you mean like normally the dog would have just been trained to come up and lick my face, but we had incentivized with beef? Yes, yeah, so we had to humiliate Me. you <laughs> in order to make Wait, the dog I safe. actually love that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So then it's like the dog isn't really trained, it's just wanting the beef. Yes. So like I, there's a high chance it could have bit your nose off and ruined your face. <laughs> we didn't tell you that. You could use a scar too, honestly. <laughs> You're a little too symmetrical in my opinion. But wait, so... So we put like beef jerky on in your mouth? It was mouth? Like beef baby food and it was all over my face and I had to lay in this bed and I wasn't allowed to get beef on the pillow. <laughs> Tails all this time. And so I had to pretend to be sleeping, but like with my head like kind of hovering off of it. And then the dog would jump up and lick my face. But I was also kind of like contorted in this position. I was wearing these little tiny pajama shorts. Uh -huh. And I could That was feel... my call. No, see, this okay, is Okay, I know I... how to get people to watch a, a short. Yeah, right. If you can find it, enjoy it. <laughs> but I did feel like my butt cheeks were hanging out. So I kept like... Yeah, my that shorts was by down. design. <laughs> but no, then you came halfway through like on Beef Take 33. You were like, are these shorts uncomfy? And I was like, yeah. And then you were like, who the f*** 
put her in these little shorts. Like, she's not comfy. And I was like, that's the first time anyone ever treated me, like, good. Oh, my God. And then you're like, do you have sweats or something in your trailer? And I was like, yeah. And you said you could go put those on. I, it was just, like, a medical miracle to me that someone would acknowledge that I was uncomfortable. I'm and sorry nice it to took me. 33 takes. <laughs> Yeah, in between them, you were like, oh, we got to clean up your face. So you were licking the beef off my cheeks and I was really uncomfortable, but look, you insisted on doing it that, yourself. <laughs> look, I'm just very, I do my own stunts, very hands-on. Yeah. Yeah, I, to me, it's like, it is so wild how humiliating and uncomfortable being a performer can be like for no reason. Totally. For but, no reason. Like, it's like, if you're like, you need to jump in this cold ocean for the shot, it's going to suck. That's, there's no other way to do it. Yeah. But when it's just like, Someone's uncomfortable for no reason. Exactly. And I think I saw you like futzing with yes. it. And sometimes and it's the kind of thing where if a guy said it, he'd be a pervert. Like maybe a guy. No, couldn't. but I feel like a man wouldn't see like wouldn't see something, say something like w just so far beyond the realm. They're more like looking at the shit. That's yeah, why yeah. women make better directors because we can multitask. We see everything all at once. It's like we're reading the emotional space of the room, how the actors are feeling, what the shot looks like, what the set are, you know, but yeah. men are just like, the shot looks like this. Yeah, yeah. Good for me, and, Dylan. And I remember having an amazing DP. I think it's a great, when a woman's a director and a guy's the DP, not that, I mean, Alec Baldwin killed all the female DPs in Hollywood. So um, what choice do we have? But um, there's, uh, I have an umbrella insurance. What is he going to sue me? I mean, get in line. But uh, he, like, I had a great DP who was, like, dealing with all the technical so I could just figure out, like, how to make the actor comfortable. Because it's, like, that's what's so crazy is that, like, you become a good actor. You work your ass off to be, like, present and to be quick and to be effervescent and fun. And then you're in a completely uncomfortable situation where you can't do your best work. I just feel like directors, the best version of me showing up is to figure out how to just make it the most comfortable environment possible so you can do what you do. Yes. 